Welcome to another video. Today I've got a box of pennies to hunt through. Um, this is another one of those penny roll boxes where the rolls are on the side there, but they are circulated. So that is good. Um, I've been hit or miss on these boxes where the pennies are, are vertical instead of the horizontal ones. Um, so we will see if my luck increases with this box or decreases. Well, let's get into this and find out how these rolls do and what's inside. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Roll number three and our first find is a Canadian. We have a 1960 Canadian here. That is a young head, Queen Elizabeth. Nice. Uh, 1960 Canadians, first find. Hopefully there is more soon. Okay, we've made it to roll number eight. We got a wheat scent here. It's 1950 something. Can't quite tell, 1958 out of Denver. Final year of wheat scents. Now there is a very, very rare double die obverse on these this uh 1958 out of Denver that looks very similar to the 1955 double die but this one is super rare I think there's only been three that have been graded over at PCGS I could be wrong last I heard there was only three of them so I always take a double look at those even though they had a final year and again it is a very super rare uh double die to find. But anyways, we have our first wheat scent. Just poured out roll number 10, and it looks like we got some wheat ears here. A couple in from the end there. We have another wheat scent. Ooh, a 30 is 1938. Nice. That's a nice older wheat scent. So I'm getting towards the back of roll number 10. It looks like I've got another wheat scent here. Uh, let's see, where is it? Right here. It looked like I had a 1955, and I do. 1955 out of Denver. Ooh, that one is tore up. Wow. It's a little wheat scent. We're going to put it up here and uh, hopefully find some more here. Uh, second wheat scent in this roll. Very nice. Oh, I got a dime. I got a dime as well. Wow, this is a really nasty beat up dime. It's like a 1990 something out of Denver. That is a dime of plus 10 cents. Let me just flip through the rest of these here real quick. Um, not seeing any more wheat cents, any more dimes. Okay, this roll has some stuff in it. Roll number 10, clocking in three finds. Roll number 12, I just poured it out here and it looks like I have a Canadian back here looks like it's an 80s because the edges on the rim there 1991 nice yep that did the edges on the rim did uh continue into the early 90s but it's usually 80s but we got a second canadian nice still on roll number 12 a few coins in from the end there as soon as i started looking through it the 1956 out of Denver, another wheat scent here. Cool. It's another roll with more than one find in it. I think that fits in there somewhere. Um, I'll just take a quick peek. I'm not seeing anything else stand out here, but never know. We'll be back again here shortly. We made it to roll 15, and we've got another wheat scent here. Let's see, 1944. This one is a Philadelphia. That is a, another wheat scent. I'm gonna roll 17, and it looks like we got another wheat scent right here. Um, slow rolling it, checking out other coins on the way. But we have a 1954 out of Denver. Nice. Another wheat scent to go up here. I think it goes in there somewhere. We're on roll 22, and as I was going through, I noticed we had a wheat scent back here. Let's take a look and see what date that is. 1951. 1951 wheat scent. Nice. Roll 24. We've got another Canadian. This one is a little bit newer. 
1998. That is our newest Canadian found so far. Let's see, it's one, two, three Canadians. Old 26, and looks like we have an old one here. I can't quite make out the date, but it looks like it is an old wheat set. 1940. First year of the 40s. That's, of course, that's what 1940 would be. Um, but yeah, here we go. We got another wheat scent. Another wheat scent going up here. Boom. 39, I just poured it out. And I see two wheat scents back here. One here and one here. Zoom in. So let's just move half of this out of the way. One here and one here. And this one is worn, so it might be older. It may just be worn. But let's take a look. 1946 out of Denver. Cool, 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 cool. And then this one that looks worn may be an older one. Is it? Is it? It is a 44. Nice. That is two wheat cents. Nice. Two from the 40s. Very cool. All right, let me get through these and we'll, we'll uh, keep going and see what else we find in these rolls. Roll number 30. And it looks like we have an ender here. Um, I haven't looked at either of these rolls. Or I haven't been able to look at the ends of these rolls because they've been on the side. So I've just been grabbing them and going. And I've got a 1950 something. So that, well, it could be a 59. Let's see if we can take a look here. It doesn't, I can't quite see it. Maybe a 55, 57, 57. So we do have a wheat ender here. So let's crack this open and see if there's any more wheats in this roll or any more finds with that one. Oh, that roll went flying, pennies down. Now, the whole time I'm opening up these rolls and they are uh, opening up fine, but this time, when it's on camera, it doesn't want to work. Well, here is our Ender, 1957 out of Denver. That is a, another wheat for the stack up here. Nice. Um, well... I'm not seeing anything else in here, and I'm gonna double check and make sure I don't have any pennies on the floor. So let me get through this mess, and uh, we'll get some more rolls going. Roll 34, we have another wheat scent. Let's see, it's right here. Can we see it? Right there. Nice. Let's take a look at that. Wheat scent, 1958 out of Denver. Very cool. This is another wheat scent, final of the year of the wheat scents. Well, not as exciting as wheat scents. I'm on roll 39, and we got a Canadian here, Canadian Ender. So let's get into this and see what we got going on here. It looks like it's from the 2000s, I'm going to guess. Early 2000s, late 90s, somewhere in there. 2001. Nice. That is our fourth Canadian scent there. And in pretty good condition as well. Let me just uh, spread these out. Nope, we got a wheat scent. We have a wheat scent in here. Awesome. Tried to spread them out, but they didn't want to spread out very well. And we got a 1951 out of Denver. Nice. Looks like my, my coins are almost stretching off the camera there. Number 42, and we've come across another Canadian. That's another older Canadian, 1964. There we go. Nice. This one still has some of that shine on it, too. Not bad. Nice old 64. Roll number 53. We got another wheat scent here. Wheat scent from 55. 1955 Wheaty. Very cool. Roll number 48, and just cracked it open, and we got a Canadian here, 1965. That's another Canadian for the stack there. That's stacking up pretty, pretty, pretty big there, bigger than normal. Still on roll 48. I come across this one that is really beat up, um, but it is a wheat scent. 
is a wheat scent there. Let's see. It looks like it's a 40 something. So I took a look under the scope and this is a 1945 out of Denver. It is a pretty nasty or dirty beat up penny, but it's still wheat scent and it still counts as a fine. Roll 49. We got another wheat scent here. 1957 out of Denver. How about that? That is one more wheat scent. Okay, well, it's time to wrap up here. We had one 1938, so one from the 30s, five from the 40s, and 10 from the 50s. So that's what, 16 wheat scents. Very nice haul from a box. It was a heavy, heavy zinc scents. So getting this many out of that box, I was surprised. Um, pretty cool. Um, we'll be checking these, and I do have some uh, set aside from the box. Pretty much almost all are zinc scents to check against the album. Um, we ended up with six Canadians and one dime. Um, a really messed up dime. Uh, it's uh, being from the south here down in Georgia, uh, getting uh, more than one or two Canadians is rare for me in a box. So six Canadians, pretty nice. Got some old ones, some new ones, some red ones, and some brown ones. Uh, so that, uh, so it's always fun to find some, uh, some something a little bit different than I normally get. Um, so yeah, overall this was a fun hunt and uh, and had had a good amount of finds there. So, all right. So let me let me check the albums and I'll be right back and let you know what kind of fills and upgrades we got for those. For book number one, our wheat scent album, we had no upgrades out of those wheat scents. All the ones that we found, we had better ones in here already. So nothing for the first book. And for book number two, I have one upgrade in 97 out of Denver. It's just a cleaner uh, example than the one that, that I have in there. So that's a nice solid upgrade in my opinion. So we're gonna upgrade that one. That's all for book number two. So for book number three, I have one, one upgrade here. 2021, it's just a much cleaner surfaces than the one that's in there. They look both about mint state, but uh, this one is a better coin overall. So I'm gonna upgrade that to a nice clean example. So there we have it, another penny hunt in the books with uh, two upgrades in the albums here and uh, a good amount of wheats in the box. Very cool. Um, all right, well, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, helps me out, and drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.